Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I am going to show you guys what I have purchased and waited very patiently to open. I mentioned in the last video that I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. And let me move everything out the way. And um, about sticker shops and packaging and Etsy and everything. There we go. Here's what I got. So, oh, it's kind of big, but I have to pick it up just a second. Dun, 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 dun. I got. Sorry, you guys can't even see it. Let's see, a Canon, a Canon Pixma IP8720. So I'm actually going to open that now. That's the camera. Alright, so let me grab some scissors. Scissors. Dang so excited because this will help my stickers in the color pop. And I even got like a free um picture photo paper got a free photo paper sample to try it out too Paper for the Mally to play with. Cardboard. Power strip cord. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at me. Let me move some stuff out the way. Here is my new. Sorry, guys. Camera. I mean, not camera. Yeah. I saw a Canon. I have a Canon M50, but I have, now I have a Canon printer. So I had to move my art supplies and push over my um, my two, um, what is it called? My Cricut machines. And yeah, that's my other stuff. But now I'm about to get this all set up and hopefully get to printing soon. So while this is almost finished, I just wanted to come back on and show you guys or tell you guys that I did get my printer set set up. Um, I ran into some issues. At first, I thought I needed to buy um, some drivers for my computer because when I was setting it up. Um, I had a hard time connecting it to the internet and then I had a hard time um, getting it to like install the software and all that and so and I got this like fatal error or whatever and so I called Canon's customer service and he's like I would had to pay like $99 for him to fix my drivers on a, my brand new Canon by the way um, printer and then he said I had and I'm he said even though he would fix them tonight they could still very well break tomorrow and it wouldn't be a guaranteed thing for it to work so i was like okay so what's the other alternative and the other alternative was to um buy the new drivers that are compatible with my mac and um which costs like 139 dollars and he would be able to see my screen, fix it for me, and then I'll be all good to go and I'll have a five year warranty. So I'm like, I just spent over $200 for this computer. And now you're telling me that I need drivers. That's either gonna cost me $100 or $139. Or otherwise I can't use my printer. So what, um, so I was like, well, you know, I'll call back. I had to talk to my husband because I'm like, that's just crazy. So he was like, well, just wait until I get home and then we'll, you know, he'll research it or whatever and figure out what's going on. Well, then 
I don't know I'm very impatient when I want something I want it to work and how I have it I'm just that's how I am I just I don't have no patience so I hope you guys can hear me over this um, machine so then um, so then after that I got on let's see I ended up setting it up through my phone because um, it said it was like compatible with the I the smartphone or tablet so I ended up setting it up through my phone and was able to print through my phone like the pictures which actually I don't know if I have me well uh, I guess I'll stop being lazy which I printed my kids picture and so it printed pretty well and so and because I got like sample photo paper so it was pretty cool um, so I got that. So anyway, so then I started playing around with it and I was like, well, if it can work off of my phone, then let me try it for my Mac. And so I went, um, to Cricut the de design space and I tried to like print it through there, but I ended up having to add a printer to, which probably was my problem from the get go, but I don't know. So anyway, nevertheless, long story short, now my printer is working. I got drivers. Only thing I haven't figured out is how I'm able to like, tweak it a little bit as far as like brightness and contrast and all that because it's like grayed out so but outside of that it works and I'm kind of pleased with it and I'm actually right now I am printing my stickers to um new stickers that I designed to go on to my to my shop so because while so I was out of town last week and um, I just got back in so like I designed these stickers um, to be released but I wanted to get home and print them and then take photos of them and everything so um, and honestly I really this printed really good I, did I add a fifth sheet to it so I don't really know what my style of, of stickers are I know I do make stickers for um, I do make stickers to go into my planner so that is my style but um okay. but you know not everybody do does their planner the way that I do so um decorate it but I like these stickers because I like to put like you know I don't like to decorate it crazy crazy but I like to um just add some little flavor to it and, and I know when I like it because I actually go back to my planner and update it and everything else more like that. So, only thing, so the way I do all of this the only thing is oh look at that it's a little skinny there's a sticker that has um it's a clip art but it has like a little like earring and it's so thin but the way it cut out it just didn't cut out the way I wanted actually this wasn't supposed to be like a vlog about me making stickers but or getting my stickers ready for pictures and posting and all that but so it's supposed to be about my printer however here we are so I am I just got finished taking pictures um I still have a couple more stickers to sticker sheets to um take pictures of so I try to make all my stickers the same size, but for some reason, oh, you know what? These are the old ones. This is before I standardized. So I recently decided to standardize all of my stickers. These were just, um, yeah, these are actually the ones I kind of like messed up. Well, they came out of my printer, um, my old printer. And I like, even though I like the color blue and these are fine, this is wasn't the color blue that I wanted. And with my new printer, I was able to get the color that I wanted. So I get no candy. I get no candy. So here is my 
my printer. And I really like having it on the table versus my old one, which is right there. It's a little slow. You can see it coming out. That's my setup now. I had to like move all my paint stuff from the reverse canvases and put it up and so I can slide everything down. But, but now this is my workspace. And I got stuff under the table. It's crazy. You know, I was thinking like, I wonder how long this this um ink is gonna last me because I'm already kind of like, oh, 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 Ah, I like this new printer. Hey, I like my new printer. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, so anyway, so I got a one of these days. I'm so happy. Yes. Okay. So I'm actually gonna cut this video short because I have a lot to print, and this is I was not planning on doing like a what's the one that they do? It's called um. A day in the life shop thing because it's going to take me a while to print everything cut everything and I have two crickets but I, I am still learning how to multitask with them and the other one I have to it does well cutting the vinyl but I have to um, calibrate it to get it to cut my stickers but I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time because I want to get them going and then something messes up then I gotta stop and figure out which is which blah 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 so but I'm so happy with the way this turned out I'm so excited all right guys well I will do another video later so have a good day thanks for watching press the subscribe button hit that notification bell because I'm turning these videos out again I took a few days off but um, I'm still planning on putting out content as much as possible um yeah so I'll talk to you guys later